Miss something? Air it at BobandSherry.com. We have all been in your shoes, Aaron. We have all been in the same house with, the same job with, the same car with, someone who is obsessively planning a wedding. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Hello. So, so tell everybody where you're working and what your situation is. Okay, so I am working in Maine right now. Um, I don't want to be too detailed. Right. I'm an intern. Um, I've been there for about 10 weeks, and the entire 10 weeks I've been hearing over my cubicle walls this coworker of mine planning her wedding. Um, she's actually in a different department than I am, so I, I don't know who she is, but I have heard all of this stuff. What kind of um, what kind of wedding is she having? Since you know all about it, Erin, is it an outdoor wedding, casual, formal? What are we doing here? It's outdoors. I think she's going for a nice, like, kind of enchanted foresty thing. I heard her ordering sparklers the other day, <laughs> which I hope she's not using indoors. <laughs> what has initially got me really annoyed with this lady was I heard her complaining about her bridesmaids. And, like, I've been there. It's difficult being a bridesmaid. And they had planned this, like, nice outdoor weekend getaway to a lake cottage and stuff. And she was just going off to her coworkers in her little cubicle area that, well, does that sound like me? I mean, really, does that even sound like me? What was she thinking? And ba 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 so What's going on? That she was ungrateful these girls? bee was upset oh, wow. about the way her bridesmaids were going to take her out and celebrate her? Yeah, because oh. she wanted it to be a surprise, so she would, like, wouldn't let them tell her. And then one of her bridesmaids did tell her. She's like, oh, you're not going to like this. And it's just... Aaron, Todd told me that yesterday or the day before yesterday was a really rough day for you because apparently the bride was having a hard time finding a tuxedo. Who yes, was she buying yes. a tux for? Who was she looking for a tux for? <laughs> so the conversation started. She was calling someone about her peekapoo. The, the, a dog, a peekapoo dog? See, I'm more of a, a mutt person, so I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I was like, is this code word for getting your bikini waxed? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, if it is, and it is now. We call it. How's your peekapoo? Oh. The old peekapoo left. Yeah. Okay. Right? Like, are you trying to call this in at work, and you couldn't go out to your car, so you're just saying your peekapoo needs to get groomed? And apparently, wow. last time, whatever wow. they used on it, wow. used on it last time made it really itchy. Oh my god! So to change the subject for a moment, Aaron, I bet she really got into who the band is going to be, right? She didn't, actually. I haven't heard that yet. She's got a DJ then. All right. So, so what she, don't tell me she was trying to buy a tuxedo for a peekapoo. Oh, she was. After she got Shut. it scheduled to be groomed, she went, oh, and do you, do you guys still have tuxedos? I know you used to have those. She never once referred to it as a dog, just as a peekapoo. Hey, I bet when she started getting it fitted for a tux, <laughs> you really wondered what was going on over on the other side of that wall. <laughs> At that point, I figured out, I was like, okay, this is probably a dog. <laughs> now, is is this her first marriage? I don't I don't think so. I know she has kids, so I, I think it might be her second. I'm not sure. But... Wow, she's going way out. So you don't know this woman. This is a complete stranger to you. Look at how much you know about her wedding. Wow. I know. It's frightening. And then towards the end of the day yesterday, she had an argument with a bridesmaid about buying a strapless bra. <sighs> the thing about um, bridesmaids, I ne I've never had adult bridesmaids. The thing about, here's here's a bridesmaid. Hi, I need you to be in my wedding. It's going to probably cost you roughly 1500 to $2,000. And I'm going to criticize you every step of the way. Oh, and we're BFFs forever. Is yeah. that That's what it's, you're making it sound like. Basically, you're like, that's what I'm getting out of this. I mean, I think it might have been a junior bridesmaid, so she might have had some teenager issues to deal with there. So. Wow. I, I still can't believe that she'd be complaining about the, the girls getting a nice cottage on a lake in Maine to have some fun. That what, is I mean, what does so she want? like Bridezilla. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I don't know. It's it's Maine. What are you going to do? It's, it's in your rearview mirror now. You're moving, huh? Oh, yes. I have, like... Two more days at work, and then I'm heading back home to Michigan. <laughs> and whereabouts in Michigan, Erin? Um, I'm from Marshall. It's this really little town. Um, actually, if you ever watch the History Channel, they have a show on called Dark Horse Nation about a brewery in our town. Oh, that's, so that's cool. that's actually our... Yeah, that's, that's our little claim to fame. It cool. started. <laughs> well, Erin... That's not far from Battle Creek. Aaron, thank you oh, for listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're on the air there every day. Yeah, thank you for listening to our show while you've been doing your internship. And listen to us when you get back home to Michigan. Um, hey, I'm sorry you didn't get an invite to the wedding. I'd sure like to see that peekapoo in black tie. <laughs>